steal from people who can't afford it. I don't hurt people that don't deserve it. So relax. I'm no better than you. You're no better than me. If I say I'll do something, I'll do it. You say you'll do something and you don't. Make sure you regret it. Move it. 
look at? He was supposed to torch the hay bales behind the livestock pavilion, away from the midway. You know what? There is some trouble, so I improvise. Big fucking deal. Ah! Someone gets hurt, cops come after us. That's the big fucking deal. Motherfucker! It's a behind the livestock pavilion.
Lethbridge? Did he say anything to you? Not really. Nope. That looks like a man's shoe up there. That looks like blood.
now? It's Parker. Yeah. There was a problem with the job. I need you to do two things for me. Yeah, name it. First, let Claire know I'll be gone longer than I thought. All right, you got it. Second, you know we can get a hold of that client, Melinda. What happened? I invoiced, but it wasn't able to collect. Oh, Jesus, Parker. Uh, are you all right? Where is he? It's not a good idea. After you didn't call, I did some checking. It turns out that Melander is not as independent as I thought. He's got connections, big connections. We're talking Chicago, Dan Singer. So don't start anything. Ellie, it's me. Give me a name. Listen. Hardwick is a nephew of Dan Singer. You understand? Give me a name.
Ellie, time for a vacation. trying to kill him. Parker's dead. You got out of the SUV and you shot him. Right? Yes. I fucking shot him. You, 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 ah, I fucking, he was dead when I was fucking with him, I swear to God. We need five men for the gig. We can get by with four. They'll work with three. Fuck.
him a message. Yeah. And my dad came by. Two minutes after he left, a strange man with a big knife let himself in. Was that, was that a message to you? Listen, drive straight to the fishing camp by Okeechobee. No stops, no calls. You'll be safe there. Gotta make sure I'm not being followed. How long? I'll be there Friday. What if you're not... to the cash out of the story's locker and disappear. Look, I'm one commission away. I'll get it to you by the end of the week, I swear. No, you don't understand. I need my car for work. If you repossess my car, I can't pay you. Please, just, just give me another week. Great. Thank, thank you. Next week at the latest.
You got a hold on me, right? I don't need a hold over you. But if you make all this disappear and tell anyone who asked, I never showed up. What do I say about them? Maybe they died on the way here. Don't forget to take care of the navigator outside. Ecuador. I just hate flying. I hate it. I mean, the goddamn landing was terrifying. It went up on one wheel. I, I thought I was going to die for a minute. I mean, Jesus. Jen's already at the lake with the damn dog. What about Claire? Take it, Carol. I promise you're safe. All right. Okay, so... Danzig, it must be the fence to get 20 cents on the dollar. That's why hard looks so bad. Yeah, I think so. You know, two million dollar share. Five ways, 20 cents on the dollar. Oh, 50 million dollar score. Yeah, so we're in Palm Beach. Oh, no, no, Parker, I'm telling you, Bobby was lying. Not Palm Beach. No, the problem is not the score. The problem is Palm Beach. Nobody does business there. There's a cop to every eight residents, drawbridges. They can shut the island down like that. You're trapped. The, the state pen is full of lightweights that have tried it. You know Melanda? Is he a lightweight? No, Melanda's not a lightweight. But it doesn't matter. Listen, I got a call from Danzinger. And for whatever the reason, they want it to go down without a hitch. So they sent me this to give it to you. This is your Ohio share plus 10 points. Take it, go somewhere with Claire. Keep your money. Who are you kidding, Hurley? Chicago doesn't pay to keep people out of their way. For Christ's sake, Parker, Dan Junior was a fucking savage. He sent an assassin to your home. He almost killed my daughter. I'm just trying to help you. I don't want it from you. I want it from them. It's the principle. Principle? You don't want to get yourself killed over principle. Me? Claire? Is that what the fuck you want? You almost start on a plane runway. If it's going to happen, it'll happen. It's not something you can control. When I enter an agreement with someone, terms on both sides have to be on it. If they're not and I allow that, I'm asking chaos to take control of my life. Nobody likes chaos. Yeah. yeah. No one likes chaos. Hey, look, what if... What if you had a place in Palm Beach to sit things out? Nah, nah, cops would be all over rentals. Nah, no rental. What if you... What if you bought a house? Resort and tell him that I'll call him later to reschedule. Of course. 
Sorry about that. I think the price was $1,155, an item 8000 at a cost of $2,353.20. I can't believe you just stole her client. There's nothing wrong with you stealing now and then. They do it to us all the time. Rogers? Yes. Anybody who's somebody and rich winds up in Palm Beach. I mean, more billionaires per square foot than anywhere else. Palm Beach is about style, community. You know, it's, 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 it's not about money at all. Of course not. Where do you live now? I got a place in Vail, on South Padre Island, one lane. Yeah. I'd like to see a few more areas before zeroing in on. You have time tomorrow? Sure, yeah, I have all the time you need to zero in on anything you want. I'll pick you up at your office at 10. I'll never remember my way around unless I do the driving. Tex! Can, can I drop you somewhere? No thanks. I'm good. Lake Okachu, please. Yes, sir. Take Highway 441 to Pelham. are all antique and they could be available for, you know, for the right price. So, married? Once. She passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. What about you? What does your husband do? Oh, divorced. Eleven months. He was a salesman. Sold me.
nice thing about it is the intercoastals right down here wraps right around the house. It's really beautiful. See what I mean? The intercoastal white is out here. So you live in San Antonio your whole life? Yeah. Since I was about three. Tell the truth, I was born in Ecuador. My folks are both in the old business down there. Ecuador? Really? That's what it says on my birth certificate. Hola, Leslie. ¿Qué tal? Hola, Julio. ¿Cómo estás? I was in the management training program here before I got married. I could have got you a great discounted room rate, say, uh, 11 years ago. <laughs> you know, you mind if I hold all of these facts if you to my bank or so you can say every time what I'm getting into? Uh, sure, I mean... They're all sold. I just wind up tossing them anyway. Yeah, my card, too. Mr. Parman? Uh, Daniel? <laughs> um, I know that you're in town alone, so if you'd like, we can go over more places, uh, say over dinner or just drinks. That is so kind. But I'm afraid I have other plans. I'll be in touch. Soap opera channel always on? I pay for it. I pay every minute. I heard that. I heard that too.
If he's in town, we can't risk him getting any of us alone. We have to. My uncle sent his best guy to take care of Parker. Mr. Danzinger is going to be very disappointed you haven't seen Parker. This is my friend. I keep telling you. I don't know anybody named Parker. All right. Nice new carpet. Spoken to in five years, and 
I'm stuck with my mom. Doesn't look like she's gonna kick off anytime soon. I'm sick of chauffeuring these fucking entitled wannabe playboys who've never worked a day in their life. Showing them houses that I could never afford. Laughing at their jokes that I can't stand. All while fending off their gropes. But not all their gropes. Cause you never know, one of these days I just might get a full commission. So if you're gonna kill me, go ahead. I live with a snapshot of my future. And nobody's gonna know and nobody's gonna care. But if you're not, I can help you. Help me? People in Palm Beach are sharp. Very sharp. And people like you only come down here for one reason, money. And I don't know what you're into, kidnapping, extortion, robbery. But whatever it is, you're gonna need somebody who knows the territory. Or you're gonna get caught. Take off your clothes. What? I'm not sure if I'm better off with you alive or dead. Either way, I have to know if you were in a wire. you're forgetting to ask and all I'm asking is for you to give me a small piece so I can get the hell out of here turn around what turn around Find Rodrigo, you had to play that roundabout game with me, and all it did was make me suspicious. I mean, how many people do you want asking questions about you? But yeah. Glasses, look up before you leave. I'll think about it.
going to do, Leslie? You're hard to read. No, really. Let's just stick to business. Here's the deal. Don't ask me any questions because I'm only going to tell you what I want to tell you. The man who calls himself Rodrigo took something from me. It's a business with three other men. They're here for a robbery and they're going to use their house to lay low when they're done. So, you let them steal something. You steal it from them. I help you. And I get a commission. said that, Leslie, you did. Civilized people need to follow rules. I'm just going to put things right. Where are they going to hit? I thought that was something you could tell me. You don't know? <laughs> well, when are they doing it? I don't know that either. But it's jewelry. None of the stores I've checked have the inventory. How large? 50 to 75 million. Mrs. Clendon's jewels? Are you fucking kidding me? Forget it. They are going to get caught or killed. And so are you if you're anywhere near them. Leslie! You call me? that's on the ocean and the intercoastal. Hey, miss. This is private property. Oh, sorry, guys. Just taking in the sights. No, no, no. That's too much white. Take them away and bring back some pink roses. And just what is this now? Speakers for the auctioneer. Small ballroom. Round to the right. Okay, Linda, you cover the left side, Robert, the right. Report all panel numbers to Barry. You will be standing next to me. <clears throat> what do you want, these? Put speakers in the corners. Uh, Barry, excuse me, man. What? Go get the gear. I'll meet you by the basement. Stand at the breakers. What's going on? Out. Out. <gasps> Wait a minute. Can you like, what's the plan? What do I wear? Do I wear black? What are we doing? Go to your office. I'll handle this. This is getting old, you know.
time is it? What? How the hell did you get my address? It's sort of official. Don't let him in. At least make your dog shut up. Can you do that? Yeah, what's going on? It's about a man named Daniel Parmit. Places. And he turned out to be a real time waster. I happened to be driving past Sloan's curve yesterday and I saw you talking to someone. Yep, that was him. I showed him a condo. You mean you can get together a list of all the places you showed him? Sure. I mean, I'd have to get it from the office. Why? Well, if there's a vacant place that he knows about, he can just get it in his head to make himself at home for a while. Can you please get that for me? Ah, oh, damn dog. Always tracking in God knows what from who knows freaking where. Uh, he got into an altercation in his room with a uh, fella. The fella went over the balcony and he's dead now. He hasn't been able to ID the victim. What's going on? 
Are you a nurse? I'm Claire. Leslie. Hi. I named her after Leslie and the Young and the Restless. Mom. Her sister's named after Jennifer and Valley of the Dolls. You don't care. Mom. <laughs> I used to have a beauty salon. Uh, the TV was on all day. I told you to go back to work. I, I was. I did. I, I was. I left. I thought I was calling somebody to take you to the hospital. I can't do that, Leslie. I have something to do tonight. Are you crazy? You almost died. What do you, what do you have? A, a mangled hand? A broken rib? For this time. This is a real man. You're in no shape to do anything. You can barely even sit up. Would you tell him, please? I can't stop him. He is who he is. Okay. All set. Do you want me to call a taxi or leave my car? For the car. You're good at that. Well, I didn't think you'd stay. I know. Will you wait for me at the fish camp? I've left a bag with this clothes and some amoxicillin in it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking such good care of him. Oh, please, it was nothing. Please, please. Thank you. Bye. Come back to see me. Bye. 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 So put the boy away. That cop is watching you. Go back to work. When you come back, I'll be gone. All right. Everyone gets a weapon and two extra clips. Carlson, you better be damn sure that firehouse is empty. Relax, it's closed for renovation. Hardwick, I'm giving you my best 45. Let's go. Talk to me. You're good to go. One, let's 
Is there a fire? Yes, there is a fire. The fire department's there. They're taking care of it.
Parker. Oh, no. It's not fucking Parker. You're being paranoid again. He sent her in. He's out there somewhere. I don't know anybody. You're a fucking hole. Shut up. Parker's got to be hurting bad. He leaked a whole gallon of blood up in that hotel. The news said he could barely walk. That motherfucker's a rock, man. That night, my son is a fucking bitch. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Tell me where he is or I'll shoot you in the fucking face. Where is he? Tell me where the fuck he is. Fuck him up. You want every cop in the fucking world here? belong to?
you don't tell your mother and you don't check on her to make sure they're still there. In about three months, I'll send someone in to get them from you. Might take a long time to fence, but after that's done, you'll receive your share by express mail. You can't put that money in a bank, Leslie. You can't go on a crazy shopping spree. Okay. How much will it? I got the first two hundred thousand. My original share. The next two hundred thousand goes to my old partner who planned the job. Then we split the rest. How much? My buy your share will be millions. I was going to give him 20 cents on the dollar. I'll give you 40. It's not about money. Would he mind to pay off all our debts? You know, I believe that man that we found on the side of the road that day, he wasn't no man at all. He was an angel. Sit here to test us. <laughs> 